Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Penelope. The gang. Yeah. yeah. You know. Oh, now all of a sudden they're not important? Yeah. Wow. Well, there's just good on this. Yeah, but they're still the gang. They're still here watching with us. All right. Get on with it. We have our nice shirts now. I know. You did good. I know. These are prototypes. So <laughs> if you guys are interested in one of them, let us know. <laughs> I want to get me more of them, too. Yeah. Just so we have cool shirts. That's all I wanted. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, just so we don't have to worry about what we're wearing. <laughs> all that, too. We have a nice yeah, little selection. We yeah. can just go to whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, we were just recapping about it. This ball is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Because while Crowley does know that Aziraphale is going to be... Attacked. Attacked, or they're going to be putting the attack towards him. He's not sure He doesn't know specifically that... That's coming Shaq's right now. coming right now with a Legion. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. For sure. Legion of Demons. But we Can already they... know that they're the two of them are super duper strong because they did a quiet little miracle that was at the power of well, an I was Archangel. Just gonna, yeah, I was just going to say, like, while that sounds like intimidating that it's a Legion of Demons and like, but the demons are always like kind of idiots in this show, you know? Yeah. Kind of, so, yeah, kind of. As we're like, cause but Shax isn't. Well, it, that's where I was gonna get into though. But she kind of is because she doesn't really understand human behavior either. But that's well, what makes Crowley and Azera feel like clever I because they always them, yeah. are smarter on yeah, her. They know nobody, how to judge humans. None of them do. Right. But these zombies, these Nazi zombies, do. They mm -hmm. were once humans. Yeah, but because they're not demons, they're just zombies. I guess. Yeah, but they're also falling apart. They gotta eat brains. Well, I don't think they're gonna be back, right? Huh? I don't think they're coming back. Oh. No, remember that he, the guy from the last one, the other demon, was like, oh, no, you just stay here as demons, so they're just demons now. Oh, right. Like, That's falling right. apart, so they're not gonna be probably around for very long. Well, I guess they would have to they eat. They stay there as zombies. Right, yeah. yes. All right, let's watch it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have full authorization from Beelzebub in order to demonic invasion upon London. Demons. I want only your worst. I want the worst. The worst I want kills. Uh-huh. All right, so, uh, how many? 10,000 demons. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, I thought you said 10,000. <laughs> Do you get, like, 10? Are you actually going through with this? Indeed I am. Can I watch? <laughs> he definitely owns all these shops. He loves it, you know, like having all these different arts and trades in these stores. I'll need to find Doctor Who. <laughs> there was uh, 1965. <laughs> That's funny because Crowley, that actor, was in, in Doctor Who. 1965. The 1965 annual was indeed never printed due to problems at the BBC. Mine is the only known proof copy. You'll... Let me look at it. If you're at the meeting this evening with perhaps a quartet of musicians, I'll let you have it. A quartet of musicians. You just did what I think you did. I'm not prepared at all. But if you gave away a book, I had to. <laughs> I had to. Maggie and Nina are depending on me. They just don't know it yet. A thousand. Young We're in hell. I have authorization from Beelzebub. You could have authorization from Satan himself, Louis. If I don't have him, I can't send him over. Maybe a malignant and creeping sense of unease, if you like. Why would I want to creep it? Five hundred. There must be five hundred foot soldiers. Why for? Attacking a bookshop. Can they? Can only she not get in, or is it like more than? You know what I mean? I was wondering. Is it ten hundred? Let me just drop to seventy. I take 
I think we can handle 70. <laughs> better than 10,000. Much better. With his real name. And annotated it. How much? <laughs> is, he the, is this the same magic shop, right? <laughs> How do you put a fez on? If you come to the meeting tonight, I might be willing. <laughs> he looks ridiculous with that on. I'll tell the spouse something came up. Bring them along too. I can promise you, it'll be quite a night. That was the same magic shop, right? This is that guy's dead, so they I guess see that one was new. Didn't it look like the same? What magic shop? The one where the last one, where he got the magic stuff. The demons now. killed the shop owner. Um, um I doubt it though, but I don't know. He was in last He's season, right? What is it? Um, a legion's like about 6,000 demons. <laughs> yes, I know. Keep storm. A bookshelf. Uh, bonjour, Shusty. Uh, uh, pardon me, Mark. Uh, me, um,. Mr. Fell, I speak fluent English. <laughs> I've been living here for 15 years. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, well, um, uh, now, uh, imagine that. Uh, right. reunion de l'association de tout des commerçants de la haut et dans mon magasin de livres. Dave, Dave, uh, je serais en avril uh, si vous pouviez. Probably he's always just so bored. Probably. Mr. Phil, if it's about the street traders meeting, I can be there, but only until seven, as we start to get really busy. Oh, merci bien. Il est à 6h30. Yes, 6.30. See you there. Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, unbelievable. Uh, you can guarantee no angels, then. Some of those angels are right. Dangerous bastards. We could be permanently discorporated. What I can guarantee you, sunshine, is if you interrupt your voice is gross. one more time, you will regret it forever. Understood? You speak every language in the world. We both do. Yes. So what's the percentage? Oh, <laughs> The hard way. I went to Monsieur Rossignol's night classes in 1760. <laughs> you don't have an aunt. She doesn't have a gardener. He doesn't have a pen. But you understand That's my shop. Perfectly ordinary invitation with no hidden agenda of any kind. We're <laughs> gonna talk about the Christmas lights because I have things to say. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll be there. Didn't have to try very hard there. He's never hosted a meeting, ever. Why the change of heart? He's unpredictable. He's discovered his civic obligations. Yeah. Been together long? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's not, like, it's not like that. It certainly looks like that from here. Also, oh, you've just recently hooked up. No, you. You've got a husband. <laughs> a boyfriend. Is the book selling a bit on the side? He's not a bit on the side. <laughs> a bit on the side. A bit on the side. He's just an angel. Oh, I know. <laughs> the way that sounds. <laughs> and people's love lives all seem so much more straightforward than our own. He's an angel. <laughs> he's, he's an angel, I know. <laughs> he immediately knew how it sounded. I love that. Uh. I love that they're just in like a warehouse. Must a shitty one. For those who can't blend in. Can any of them blend in? Oh man. What is it? The big transport is our service. You'll have to use the little transport over one at a time. We'll take the stairs. Um. 
She warned him. I mean, he was bringing up fair points. We take the stairs. You could smite me. When Gabriel smites you, you can... Smite him? Yeah. <laughs> Smith. You're being silly. It's perfectly safe. He's not. You know who. Any long well any he is. But have you thought of just talking to him? Actually, I will. <laughs> Crazy. But good. <laughs> Not for her. I mean yes for her. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Are they really going up on the board? No. Oh. Well, is she wiping it again? I think it was probably like their specials of the day. She was just cleaning it. Hmm. So she's going to be an angel. You don't know. Let there be light. There he is. Hello. <laughs> he's gonna try and like but get him out I, like he's faking it oh yes mr fowl's been very good to me hasn't he just surprising when you told my only friend to shut his stupid mouth and die <laughs> i know it's serious but that was such a funny line and i did not Sorry. I hope I'm not causing too much trouble. <laughs> Jim Gabriel's the best. Jimmy boy. <laughs> Jimmy boy. You're making him risky. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do it. <laughs> I thought he was actually gonna do it. He was. I know. I'm sorry. I mean, like he's gonna let him. He's gonna let him. If you really got him, what are you? I feel. If it happens again, it will make it seem like it's an institutional problem. I don't know. I'm just uh, looking at where the furniture is. <sighs> Is that because they opened the box and the, that's why it's everywhere, you think? No, he said he took it out of the matchbox. No, I mean the second box that he said he put it in. So what have you learned about the miracle? I'm in the process of verifying it, but... Answers our question. You can only tell if people are in love by waiting a few days, because humans are weird and that's how it works. I knew that. Any leads on Gabriel? Oh, right. Well, he's definitely not in the shop. Does that count as a lead? It's just a zero fail. The traitor. Yes. Well, he seemed very... Traitorous. <laughs> and his grumpy friend, Mr. Crowley. The demon. Oh, I suppose that explains the grumpiness. Oh, and... And... What? What did they say? I like the eye makeup, like the gold. Did oh, you notice that? Yeah, on her. This yeah. <laughs> Give me that cup. Thank you. I want that cup. You've seen it before? No, I know, but I look like how cool it is with the wings. You're really nice. Don't thank me. <laughs> I'm not. Ew. Nobody believe you anyway. Time to rearrange. Imagine how easy things would be to do that. What are you doing? Just making space for everything that needs to happen. You're up to something, I can smell it. What are you planning? Wait and see. Wait and see, you have any idea how irritating that is? Yes, now, if you're going to stand here and just carp, perhaps you could check in on Nina and Maggie and make sure they are on their way. His <laughs> airfall's like, yeah, get out of here, I'm busy. Yeah. I'm going to decorate. 
But you do know he's gonna crush this look of this place. Yeah, of course. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, she must have, remember when we were trying to figure out like she was getting coffee, so she's probably one of the other shop owners, I guess. This one. She was talking to Nina. No point. No point. Well, we'd only have to move them away again when the dancing begins, wouldn't we? Better to keep them till later. Dancing? <laughs> Imagine going to a meeting. Yeah, you think you're just yeah. going to a meeting. Turns into a ball. Give I mean, me coffee or give me death. This is a funny name for a coffee shop. Everything else was taken. What do you want? Just to remind you about them. The meeting. They're not coming. What? You have to. No, I don't. My... My partner, your life You're weird. Ah, do it. All right, he's right. Please listen. How did she know to run? Because he's being super weird. He yelled at her. <laughs> Told her there was danger coming. In waves. This guy's crushing it. <laughs> That outfit is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my Wait, god. Get that fit, right? Nina. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, the dancing's about to begin. I know I'm really upset. Why don't I feel upset? Uh, no long faces tonight. I just want to see you young people enjoying yourselves. Dancing? Well, it wouldn't be a shopkeeper's association meeting without dancing, could it? I don't know what's going on, but your friend said I was in danger, and now I'm in here, and you're all acting, and I'm losing my fucking mind. Well, now you're here. That's the main thing. You're definitely safe in here. Excellent even tie to you, Mistress Nina. I uh, trust we will tread a measure together before tonight's Shopkeepers Association meeting is over. I just wanted to talk about the Christmas lights. <laughs> She didn't even want to do that. Cause she just right? broke up with her partner. Here's the Legion. Kind of. Who sent you? Ew. Your demons. Junior Bob of the Barrel Demons. Practically the Dow. What are you doing here? What are any of you doing here? You can't just manifest and cause trouble. There are rules. Give us the angel. <laughs> what, Gabriel? You are out of order! <laughs> Is nobody going to notice all the people, people standing out there? What exactly is your profession? Oh, they'll notice him. But I'm a seamstress. I don't know. He's got something going on in that place. Crime. You think so? She said. No, I'm not. A she's upset, but she doesn't feel upset. Right. <laughs> a devil take it. A seamstress. Is there like a love thing, like a love enchantment he put on this place or something? Yeah, there is definitely something going on. That's not good, though, if he's doing that, because then he's like, kind of forcing it on them, you know? What? He just if set he... up moments. No, I know. Really force but they seem to be acting strange. Like, everyone seems to be acting... I don't know if it's a love and shit, you know? But well, something, it seems like. Happy. <laughs> like, why are they all just dancing? Something's weird is going on. Well, how do they know the dance is more important? Something new? This is something completely bonkers. Yep. Are we? Everyone talking like they've escaped from Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Just getting into 
<laughs> I can't get I over that outfit. But these are not books. They're little pieces of food, and I'm not selling them. I'm giving them away. Then, most certainly, we must indulge ourselves. Oh, oh pray tell me a well. We shall want another one presently. <laughs> it is seldom indeed that our little village <laughs> has the fortune to welcome one so amiable, so genteel, and if you will allow me, sir, so well made in form and feature. <laughs> he is perfect. This. It's me. <laughs> I'm still working out all the things it can do. I discovered a new one in bed last night. What? <laughs> Would you like me to show you? <laughs> I must confess you interest us strangely. I'm doing something so stupid. I guess they can't go in there either then, right? It seems like it. What the hell just happened? No pun intended. Looks like a veil got lifted. Oh no, it's an elevator. I thought that was the... the bookshop. Uh, I thought it was too, yeah. That night was the last straw. It's been coming for a long time. I don't think Lindsay actually liked me very much. I guess he just did like a miracle that they know how to do all this, you know? Yeah, he didn't mess with their heads. Well, no, I didn't think that. It was just still. I mean, I'm not afraid of hard work. Hell has sent demons. They are milling around outside. They want Gabriel. Perfectly safe in here. Technically, this bookshop still counts as an embassy. I think you need to stop this charade, and we need to work out what to do. I am not giving them. People. I think you're overestimating how much trouble we're actually in. Oh shit. Surrender the angle. Yeah, the angle. Not a strong point they meant to say. Surrender the angel. Send out Gabriel. Nobody gets too badly hurt. Out of the question. Right, I would like. And I will. You don't need to. I'm going out. Don't do it, Jim. Ow. Jesus. Look, look at that. Look at that coat. I'm here. I'm here, bitches. <laughs> I think. He looks like, looks like an angel with that on. For James. Get back in there right now, this minute, and you tell that us, a Zerophil, and that art traitor, pretty, that unless they set off the angel, Gabriel, no, they're toast. T O S T E toast. No. Even Jim's like, what an He's idiot. At it. What happened? They told me to come back and tell you to send out an angel. Oh, of course they did. Yeah, we do a miracle to make sure nobody knows it's him. Now nobody knows it's him. <laughs> First one now. <laughs> Mr. Phil, who are these people? What's happening? 20 seconds, Angel, before we start hurting them. Hurting them. It's not allowed to harm humans directly. Right, I just made up a rule that is just a check. I'm giving you. <laughs> Too stupid. Come on, Peter, you're 
I know, but I have a suggestion. I've got it. Right. I'm going to take you all out of here. You know, he's going to say the exactly suggestion right. later. And he's going to, why didn't you tell me sooner? Nobody's going to get that. I don't know what's actually going on, but I am going to deal with it. Excuse me. Oh, this guy's getting hurt. Me. They're going to kill him, yeah. <clears throat> and she's going to be like, I'm not stupid enough to think that's a real rule. I don't know why you think it's appropriate to disrupt a meeting of the witness. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you see Curly? We just did. Civilian casualty. Get the rest of them out now, or we take them one at a time. How did she do that? He was like right at the edge. So just close enough, you mean? I guess. It's a bit complicated, but um, you'd probably better get in contact with them. Just follow me out. Nina, are you coming? He goes along with it. It stacks up by the front door. Keep us about on a good time. Keep your head down. Don't look at it. Why now why wouldn't Shax hurt them if she just hurt that guy? That's what I'm confused about. Um, you know what I mean? Because they're protecting them. Maybe. Right, I'm gonna formally declare this meeting at the Whitburn Street shopkeeping thing over. I think it would be best if you all headed back to your shops as fast as possible and, well, forget as much of this as you can. You're a good lad. Not actually. Either. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> I'm not a lad. Why didn't you go? I want to know what's happening. Demon. You're in danger. None of this makes sense. You're in trouble. And we aren't leaving you on your own. We aren't in danger. Crowley will be back in a moment. He will have a plan. Why don't you stand up for yourself? Make your own plans. It's so funny, the comparisons between... Like, they're, like, identical. Like, she's staying back to help. Nina's acting like her. I hope that is her. That she is Nina. I think so. Yeah, Maggie's the um, the record store. Nina's the coffee right. shop. Right. I think I'm the wrong. You're a law enforcement officer. Yes. I mean, well, obviously. As a law enforcement officer, you're able to arrest someone quietly. This is very difficult, but I'm not actually Inspector Constable, a human law enforcement officer. You're an angel. I know. That's why I'm straight with you. I'm a demon. Knowledge of a crime against heaven. I demand that you arrest me. We don't have much time. But how would I? You say I arrest you. Anything you say. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> you arrest me. Uh huh. You said blah 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 blah. You're right, officer. I'll come quietly. Come where? Heaven. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. You aren't trying to trick me, are you? You're arresting me. Why would I be trying to trick you? <laughs> Definitely tricking. Kind of. But I think Crowley's kind of going there for help, no? Like, it seems like it. To get rid of them. Yeah. Jack's noticed. Oh, good thing we're watching the next one. Right? Like to go kind of like, not, I guess, report them? Well, I think he needs, he understands he needs. I mean, I don't. Because no one knows the right what's going way, on. But like, you know what I mean? To get them to stop them? Yes, to get them to intervene at least, I think. Yeah, I, might, I have to go back and rewatch what Shaq said when they were, she was at the door because, um, when the reporter guy got like close enough, Shax was right. like, "Oh, like uh, Crowley, like Where's some of the, the door." Right. Yeah, and then they left the house, and then they left the shop. So, yeah. Well, he didn't move. He got like pulled. That dude. He got like pulled no, out of the, shop. the other guy came. Yeah, and ripped him out. I thought. Yeah. But he's got to be dead no? That guy. Yeah. <laughs> I would assume so. so. That's what I'm saying. Now, like, how did they get? Are they allowed to do? That? I thought they weren't allowed to do that. 
No, she got permission from Beelzebub. Well, then why didn't they all just simply because Crowley was... Yeah, what did he say? I forget. Well, who did he say the from... Oh, because they could, They said that casualties of fighting with angels, that's like how they can get around it. Like if they're fighting with an angel and humans die, then it's just like a casualty of the fight. Like they don't get punished. Yeah, but that wasn't the case there. I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do. I'll probably, it's probably yeah, I don't know stupid. why they would do that and then not just raid the house, but because then that would, uh, yeah, I don't know. Not even raid it, but. I'm saying when they went, when Crowley had them in a line to go outside, why did they not do anything to those humans? Yeah. Well, they didn't do anything to them because of. She, she he said that you got to give them ample time to get rid of any humans in the area before the fight begins. That's what he made up. Yeah. I Remember? Because then she was like, well, then tell them to leave. And he was like, no. Yeah. Just. I figured Jax wouldn't give a shit. And then that what killing that one guy was just like, we're really gonna kill everybody if they keep yeah. if you keep them here. Like That's true. we're gonna be fighting you and it doesn't matter. Yeah. That makes sense. Makes sense. And I gave him the opportunity to let him go. I guess that's what happened. Once again, Jim Gabriel steals the show. That suit, man, was out of control. And then when he walked out with that coat. It literally looked like he had wings on though. Yeah. And he was like <laughs> <laughs> they didn't believe him. No. And that <laughs> look he gave her, gave Shaxx when he was walking away. Yeah, like, staring at her. Like, you people really are idiots. T-O-S-T-E. Toast. I was laughing, though, because Shaxx talks like, like, super serious, like, giving a good speech, and then all of a sudden, like, S- out of nowhere, this. yeah. Like, like her voice changes or something, that actress. Like, it's like, she, like, I can't talk anymore or something. <laughs> I think she just didn't know what she's never done it before. She didn't that, know what yes. to say. Right. It's, it's That's like, what I meant. She was having public speaking issues like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's hilarious. I don't know, man. This is gonna be cool. Yeah, that was I nice. wanna know I'm very interested in seeing where he's going. Like what he's planning to do up there. My guess is Crowley's going to go probably say what's going actually what's going on. To who? Michael? Well, he also knows about them. He's going to see the Matchbox when he gets up there, too. So when yeah, I took from that, when... He said he took it out of the Matchbox. And put it in the box that he was when he was naked and brought to... Yeah, so I guess it was him up there and, like, he removed his own memory? Or had it removed and, like, only knew bits but, like, and pieces they, to do like, that? Like, gave it to him so he could keep it? That's... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem, like, malicious at that point. You know what I mean? It almost seems just like you're trying to do something. Like, you're... Why would somebody do that, though? If there's somebody there's, else did it? Well, there's a, some other reason for it. I think it is kind of pointing now to him doing either doing it himself right. or definitely being a part of it. I hope not. I hope they, <laughs> he stays Jim Gabriel. Though I kind of like the, the dickhead Gabriel, too. He's also hilarious. He but, can be. But Jim is just... That was cool when Crowley got him because... That was Crowley. Crowley. doesn't really know yeah. what happened up it there. It was him. Like yeah. Yeah. It's funny that he repeated your favorite line in the whole show. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it was one of the best ones. But like when he says it, it's like, mm, I get it. It sounds rough. It is. It was rough. Yeah, I know. But it was just the way he said it. In the first <laughs> like, Shut up and die. It's just the pure hatred he had for him. Because <laughs> he was like, like Gabriel's like the complete opposite of Zarephil, who's just bubbly and like. Well, nice. he was furious that the war didn't happen. He had been waiting, <laughs> however, <laughs> for. Since the start of time, I guess, for this war. That's why I'm confused as to, like, is... Because we know that, like, Crowley believes that no matter if it's heaven or hell, he'll, they'll be... Whoever is, like, hiding him, a.k.a. Zarephel, is going to be, or even associated with him. So, obviously, Crowley, too. But, like, if they're found to be harboring Gabriel or no information about it, then they they can be erased from existence. Yeah. At least that's what Crowley thought. So that's why I'm interested to see what he actually tells them when He's he goes He's going to go tell them. That's what I... That's... You, you, I know he... That, that's the problem now, but, like, when he first went there... Nobody knows what's going... Like, what's causing this? Right. That's the problem. Right. And Azarafil keeping him to try to figure it out is the 
what would bring down the sanctions. No, the sanctions are for the demons, if they were harboring them. Uh, I know. I think they see. That's everybody, right? The sanctions are the are like being yes. erased. Yes. Well, like, what do you mean erased? That's what you just said, from existence. Oh yes, they would be erased. Yeah, but it was sent down to the demons too. Like if they were harboring Gabriel. Anyone? Yeah, I think. Right. Yeah, specifically from heaven would do it. Right. Because like hell's powerful, but hell or heaven's like always like a step above, obviously. Yeah. But that's funny. I, it, it sucks. We only have one left. Yeah, and do you think they're going to talk about how he was controlling everybody again, or that's just the end of that? He controlled them. I feel like it was. I, that's I think deal. I feel like it was worse than I initially thought it was. Yeah, I you mean, thought like, it was like it a love spell worse. that he was put that he was like forced or any him. like I thought he but, was just like altering. No, it, like, he was just making it like where everybody would have a good time. You were like, you know, it wasn't like yeah. to m make relationships. And they knew was, how to dance. It was just, yeah, you're all going to be dancing now. <laughs> we're all going to have so much yeah, fun dancing and drinking and acting like. What was her name? Nina and who? Why Maggie. 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 That's what I thought. Um, even those two, because they were like kind of aware. Of they were what, aware the whole time. They're like, we didn't learn these moves. But if you just started doing something, I guess if it was fun, you wouldn't really question it. Well, that's why it seemed weird because like it almost like they couldn't control it. They couldn't control their body movements for the dancing. Yeah, I don't think. Or the idea, or just to choose to dance. No, they were dancing. Because everyone wanted them to dance. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. why it's a kind of still. Yeah, they a little were, fucked up. Everybody was his, was his puppet in that one. Yeah. <laughs> but they, he gave them their. their he wasn't. He wasn't their malicious. Brains. It wasn't he malicious. Were, yeah. <laughs> they didn't have to do anything crazy, and they were mentally aware of what was going on. Yeah. So I'm okay with it. They're doing enough good. <laughs> it is. It is a fucked up thing to do to people, though. Yeah. But they, but also now. But luckily, he did that because otherwise, they you know, as soon as they smashed that window, everybody would have ran outside, and the demons would have got them. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Like, it's just funny how Maggie and Nina are like almost identical clones to Zarephil, and they Crowley. like yeah. Like Nina's like, or Crowley, or Crowley. Um, Maggie's like, oh, I gotta stay and help. I can't just like. Let this nice guy like do this, you know? Yeah. And then Maggie's like, "No, why would you want to do that?" You yeah. know, <laughs> typical girl. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's so funny. Yeah, they're definitely, and I mean, it's not even close. They're gonna, I mean, it's not even a question. They're gonna definitely end up together still, Maggie and Nina. Like they're already almost together right now. It's perfect. Setting's perfect. She just broke up with her psycho partner, and Maggie's such a sweetheart. I also hope nothing bad happens to Muriel because she is kind of being like, not tricked, but. Well, I don't know that he's trying to. I don't no, think I don't Crowley's think he, I don't think he is, but they're still not going to appreciate her just letting a demon come up to heaven. Yes. Yeah. You know, but she's arresting him because he knew of a crime. That's where he's tricking. I don't know Muriel. if he's turning himself in for. You think he's trying? He's going to turn himself in for Gabriel? Like, oh, I was hiding Gabriel here. And like without them even questioning his Arafil, they'll just go grab Gabriel and be out and kill and banish the demons. But that's the thing. We have to like what? And then next season will have to be a Zarafil going up to save Crowley up in heaven. I figured it out. I think that you're on. No, I think you. <laughs> no, might it's be gonna right. be close to that, but I don't know. It also depends. We just it depends on what what is causing Gabriel this to happen to Gabriel. Like what? That's the big. That's the big thing. I really hope they don't, like, not tell us in the next one. I know. That would kind of suck. Yeah, because, there's, yeah, I, there's only one left. I know. <laughs> they got a lot of things to answer in the next one. Yes, and we're about to watch it now. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.